Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimblet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimblet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Patty Pimblet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblet does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblet package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbul in his corner. And if Hasbul didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov, ready to engage yet again here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> of the world. Introducing the fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Paladin! Paladin! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Evil Nurmagomedov. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He checked that last one. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, funny, starting to open up a little bit. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Kelly. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, right into mount. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go, round one. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nermago Medov's in half court. Big ground and pound. Now drop 
steps inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Pimblet's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be playing. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Pimlet's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, hammer fist here by Pimbles. Trying to recover the full guard there. Lands the ground and pound strike. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left. Lands a nasty body kick. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, kind of like what they're seeing out of the Ibu Michael Meta striking gear over DC. Submission. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Nermago Meta. And now he's got the back. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Pimblets in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Work from the top here by Pimblet. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Under two minutes now to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Massive head kick. Like that. And now some distance like as they pull apart. All right, so he lands his first take down in the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this knee. No, I, I can't get those legs up there. Come on, man, look at these three. Pimblet's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, that's getting in deep now. Oh, that's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. He's going to tag off bar here. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back 
and forth in the submission defense wins this transition. All right, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to be here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should panic. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. All right, listen. You to go out there and I want you to do more of that. Let's set up those takedowns. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the feet. Very, very efficient. Good round. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in. I mean, blood in the water, you got to go with kids. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Now he's going full mount. Nice transition. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Making all these shots count. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Now. North South, we'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Nurmago Medoff's going for the sub here. It's, it's tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Pimblet. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Push off an elbow. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Five seconds remain in the round. Slow your pace. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Nermago Medoff. Final seconds of round three. Nermago Medoff's in half guard now. Himlet's eyes closing up now. Not good for him. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the extra 10 minutes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Namago Medov. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Namago Medov's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. to get some. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meadow. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding a shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, with authority, the body. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. He's got the single collar guy. Beautiful takedown man there. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Great job landing from the top position. Let's go. We got a scramble here. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Oh, nice. 
side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Great submission defense and full display by the opponent. Take him out here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by him. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-48. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Nermago Medov. And judge three scores it, 48-47. This bout is considered a split draw. All right, so he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target is on his back. Every challenger.